Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, if you want to address the elephant in the room, and the elephant in the room is, is she black or not? The answer is yes and no, but we're going to deal with the definite no. Now, if you are a child of immigrant parents who migrated to the United States post civil rights era, you're not one of us. Now, you can sit back and say, you know, with Taraji P. Henson and girl, I'm in these streets. You ain't never been in these streets. You locked up brothers that's been in these streets. And you, when you say they not like us, no, we are not like you. Behind me is her family. OK, now, if you want a clear shot of the family, here it is. Now, now that you see who where she come from, her mother is Indian. OK, from India. OK, her father, you want to wonder what her father looks like? OK, well, here he is. Well, well, man, that's Gandhi. OK, well, here he is. He is a son of a slave holder. His grandfather, father, his great grandfather was a slave holder in Jamaica. He was born in Jamaica in 1938. Think about that. In 1938, what was your Paul doing? What was your great grandfather doing? Sharecropping. Okay, getting hung and lynched in the south. Dealing with these black suffrage with the Negro experience. Then, you know, think about that. So we really got to have this conversation. In 1938, her father was born biracial man in Jamaica in 1938. Her mother is from India. So according to Chat GPT, I looked it up. That makes her Indo-Jamaican. So you mean to tell me that she wants the black American, African American vote when she's not even classified from an ethnicity perspective as a African American? She's Indo-Jamaican. Really? Okay, just because she went to Howard, what does that make her? Literally a failure, according to her father, who's a professor, who was a professor at Stanford. Why did she get into Yale, Harvard? She will, you, Do you know only a handful of presidents did not go to the Ivy League schools? Yes, Trump went to Penn. That's Ivy League. Biden, her and Biden, that's probably the dumbest uh, administration known to history when it comes to education. But think about this. They use the black card when it makes sense. The Democratic Party owned black slaves. So in 1964, this guy, Lyndon B. Johnson, signed the Civil Rights Act and said, I will have these Negroes, these American Negroes, but her people was in India and in where? Uh, uh, Jamaica. I'm going to have these Negroes voting Democratic for the next 400 years. But then all of a sudden, okay, now when you got gentrification, affirmative action, she come in and go to Howard and get the little haircut and look like she's from salt and pepper. OK, she get all the privileges that a real sister didn't and couldn't get because some sisters have integrity. They didn't sleep with the boss. They didn't use what they got to get what they want. They did it the right way. And if you look at it from a DEI perspective, I'm sure you can find a black woman with a better resume, a black woman with a better education because this sister's walking around here classified as doctors with PhDs. Think about that. So what I'm saying is, is she black? No, she's not. OK, now, if that's the case, then the woman from St. Lucia who won the, the 100 meters and be Shikari Richardson. She's black, too, but she ain't one of us. She's from St. Lucia. We from right here. We could chase our history back to the year 1619. And if you want to go backwards from where we at right now, we got the the um, African-American, the my generation, which was uh, Negro, okay? Then you got black as well as colored, okay? Now, the black suffrage was real. It was real, y'all. And we got to be honest and transparent about that. The black experience is real. Why will they not get a real brother or sister in the White House? Barack Obama, he's African-American because his daddy is from Kenya. And his mother is from Hawaii, who's Caucasian, Okay? But when you look at a real brother who family migrated from the South, you know, left the South, went to New York, Chicago, migrated to L.A., went through the projects and all of that. If you put one of them people in office 
who have that post-traumatic slave stress or slave syndrome in their body, they might wake up one day and do something what? Just for black people. Something that she says she's not going to do because she resonate more so with her people. Because if you pay attention to her family, this is her family. This will be the first family. This does not look like a black family. Case dismissed.